what is ls on a very rudimentary level the list command displays the contents of a directory it takes the current working directory as default but you can read the contents of another directory by supplying the appropriate path the list command also has a bunch of arguments which greatly extend its functionality one such argument is dash r or reverse which sorts the items in reverse alphabetical order the dash t argument sorts items according to their time of modification with the newest first the dash capital x argument sorts items alphabetically according to their file extensions the double dash group dash directories dash first argument as its name implies lists the directories before the files and also in alphabetical order the recursive or dash capital r argument displays not only the contents of the specified directory but also the contents of all the subdirectories contained within it the directory or dash d argument lists only the directories themselves and omits their contents you can also list hidden files using the all dash a or almost all dash capital a arguments hidden files in unix systems are files whose names begin with a period the classify or dash capital f argument adds a special symbol to the listed items to indicate what type of entry it is the at symbol indicates a symbolic link or a file with special attributes the asterisk indicates an executable file the equal sign indicates a socket a vertical bar indicates a pipe a right angle bracket indicates a door and a forward slash indicates a directory and on a somewhat related note the dash p argument also adds a forward slash to directories to identify them but it does not classify the other files you can also change the way the items are displayed the dash x argument displays items horizontally as opposed to the default which is vertical the dash m argument displays the items in a single line separated by commas the dash 1 argument displays a single item per line and the dash l ie verbose argument displays the file along with its permissions owner group size and date of modification there are also a bunch of arguments that perform a similar function to dash l the double dash full dash time argument displays the modification time in a proper iso standard time format the dash n argument replaces the user and group names with its numerical id the dash g argument on the other hand removes the files group and the dash o argument removes the files owner and the dash h argument displays the file sizes in human readable units such as kilobytes megabytes etc but it must be used with the dash l argument if you want the file sizes to be displayed in a particular unit only you can use the double dash block dash size equals argument where you append a k for kilobytes m for megabytes etc after the equal sign to indicate the desired unit this argument must also be used in conjunction with the dash l argument and finally the double dash version argument displays the program details and the double dash help argument lists everything i have just mentioned This video does not cover all of the options available though if you want you can consult the man pages for further details if you think that this video was helpful please leave a like and if you want more of this type of content feel free to subscribe if there are any errors in my presentation or if you have anything to add ask or suggest please leave a comment down below that is all i have for now i apologize for the fucking loud ass birds outside that are constantly interrupting me And till next time goodbye